All right. Here's our pinch nut, lower ball joint. We've got to get this popped out of here, so we're going to pull this nut off of here and tap this bolt straight out the other side, and then this will separate, and we can pull our axle apart. All right. Here's some of the reasons why. See all that looseness. You can kind of hear that bearing has failed in there. So it needs to be changed. Three bolts. One, two, and then the third one's in that little cavity. Then I'll tap it out. So out she comes. There's the cavity. And we'll take and clean this up a little bit and put some grease in here. Keep this from getting any more rusty than it has to. So we'll be using this old school flap disc here. About a 60 grit. Okay, you got a little acid brush here, a little grease on it. We just wipe it in there a little bit. You don't need to go clear back inside, just where that bearing is going to ride. Should be good. There's our new one. So we'll get that one put in there. You got to watch out where she goes, make sure all of your bolt holes line up. Good. That one's good there. Get them bolt in. So we've got a bar in here, and that's our bolt. Ball joint. We press that down. We give a better shot here. There we go. We'll push that down, then we'll get that shoved in there a little further. Our axle needs to be tapped in just a shade. And then that should uh, go ahead and go right on in. Now there's our completed unit. I went ahead and slapped it together. Got everything. This is torqued. And you've got your bolts back here that holds your, your brake unit on. This is out of the way. This is lubricated, so that's good. This one here is not it's not exactly on until we get it to the alignment shop. But 19 turns on the inside here is what we look at. So we'll get that. That's snug down good. That's all completed up inside there. So we're actually ready to go back together with this one. Alright, thanks guys. See you next time.